Local nonprofit is educating visitors on some scaly reptiles. Mm -hmm. Now Dina is standing by with more on the oh, Snake Conservation <laughs> Center. Hi, Dina. Oh, yes. You got a lot of me this block, don't you? <laughs> so exciting. Okay, so uh, if you haven't been out in a while, maybe you have. Snakes are active right now, yeah, so yeah. warning if mm -hmm. that's something that worries you. Um, <laughs> but this morning we have the right person to talk about what you should do if you encounter a snake and also a new conservation effort that's happening here locally. So we want to go out this morning, and this is a really cool uh, nonprofit that I actually had just heard of. So Michael Starkey joins us with Save the Snakes. Michael. Hello, and I see that you're holding a snake. Fitting, who is that guy? Yeah, hi, good morning, everybody. Just uh, wanted to say hello from the Snake Conservation Center. We're Save the Snakes, a local snake conservation organization supporting uh, international snake conservation efforts around the world. Uh, but today we wanted to talk to you about that the snakes are out. And so we're located at the beautiful Splash Building in Sacramento. And this is where we share this space with the Sacramento Splash uh, organization. They've been wonderful to work with us to do environmental education. And this here is a California king snake, which is one of the snakes you might be seeing out on the trails or even around your house. And then uh, okay, Adrian so over here has a beautiful. If we see that? <laughs> so if you see any snake, it's important to have respect. And so. Whenever you see a snake, make sure you give them lots of space, about 10 feet. And so these, both of these snakes, we're able to hold them because they're non-venomous, they're completely harmless to humans, and they're actually an excellent form of uh, pest control, right? So these snakes love to eat rats and mice, so if you see them around your yard, absolutely wonderful to have around. Huh. Now, okay, you probably are wondering, and I, though. And yeah, what are we wondering? About <laughs> if you see a rattlesnake. <laughs> Yeah, that was my so next right question. So right here we have a Northern Pacific rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, no, boy. so if so, we live in so in Northern California we have one rattlesnake that lives around the Sacramento area, and Seems if you true. see the snake, just uh, give them lots and lots of space. Um, they're going to be moving around, uh, trying to find food. They're actually mating this time of year, so they're going to be quite active. And so if you give them their space, no problem. However, if you find one in your yard, for example, I live in an area where it's very possible we could find rattlesnakes in my yard, it's important that you call a local snake rescuer or your local animal control, and they'll come and move that snake away um, to a safer spot. You don't actually want to kill the snake because by doing that, you put yourself in greater danger of being bitten, which I can assure you is a very unpleasant uh -huh. experience. I'm sure it is. Michael Starkey, we are out of time, but thank you so much for showing us around. I know this space is uh, newer for you in Sacramento, but you are also going to be offering educational events, day camps for young learners. So we're going to have all the information linked up to our Good Day Sacramento website. Thank you. And don't worry, you don't have to ask me twice to keep my distance from any snake. I think <laughs> I will abide. Thank you so much, Michael. Have a thank great you all day. so much. <laughs>